Hello everyone, Elmano here. This week I'm going to post a couple of videos regarding Nextcloud and more specifically how to install Nextcloud on a server. For these videos I chose to install Nextcloud on Fedora Server 31 which was recently released and I'll install it in VirtualBox. So I'm going to do three videos separately. The first one, which is today's video, is going to be about installing Fedora 31 server on VirtualBox. The second one will be about installing Nextcloud on the server. And the third one and final one will be how to secure the Nextcloud installation. So let's get started with the installation of the OS. So the first thing, let's go to the Fedora website, which I have already here. And from the home page, you're going to want to click on download Fedora server. And on the left side of the window, you have two choices. You can download the standard ISO or the net install ISO. The net install ISO just downloads the basic installation files and the standard ISO downloads actually already some packages in it. So I'm going to go for the net install ISO since I rather want to download the packages from the internet directly. So I would click actually now download and the ISO image will download. But I've already done that, so I have the ISO image in my downloads folder. So I'm ready to fire up VirtualBox and set up the virtual machine. So I'm going to close this window and open up VirtualBox. And now I'm going to click on new. I'm going to call this installation Fedora Server 31. And I'm going to give the machine four gigabytes of RAM and click create disk. So for this installation, I'm going to give actually 128 gigabytes of space and click create. And then I want to tweak still something, so I go to click to settings and click on system and give this machine two processors power. I'm not going to touch display as I'm not going to install a desktop environment in here. And under storage, I'm going to connect the ISO I just downloaded. And under network, I'm just going to use here bridged adapter. And Prometheus mode, I'm just going to go to allow all and click OK. So now I'm ready to start the installation. So I'm just going to click start. And we have two options here, so I'm going to choose the first one, install Fedora 31, and hit enter. And now I'm ready to start the installation. So I'm going to choose actually English as my language. And I'm going to click continue. Now we have several things to adjust here. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my keyboard layout as I don't have a US keyboard. There you go. And click done. The next thing I'm going to check the network connection. So I'm connected to the internet through the ethernet cable, which goes directly through the virtual machine. And I see my IP address here is 192.168.178.52. That means I'm connected to the internet. And I want to change the host name here to Fedora and click apply. So if you don't have an internet access with cable here, you will see also the Wi-Fi option and you can configure that. But if you're going to install Nextcloud on this VM, I strongly recommend to have an Ethernet access as it's much faster and more reliable. So I'm going to click Done now. And the next thing I'm going to do here is the installation destination. So I'm just going to click. I have only one disk here, so I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to click Done. And under Installation Source, close this mirror, that's fine. And Software Selection, I want to install Fedora Server Edition, which is fine. There is nothing here that I'd select, so I'm just going to click on Done. And there are two last steps here. One is to create the root password and the user account. So let's go ahead and create the root password. So I'm just going to enter the password here. And I will click Allow Root SSH Login with Password because I will need this later to install Nextcloud. And now under User Creation, I just create a new user. Give a username and a password. And I'll make this user an administrator as well.
and click done. So now I'm ready to install the system and I'll just click begin installation. So it's going to take a while now to install Fedora server, so I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is done, so I'm going to just click here on reboot system. And I want to remove the ISO, otherwise it will start the installer again. So I'm just going to click remove disk and force and mount. And I'm going to reset the machine and now it will boot into the system. And I'll hit enter on the first line. And now we are at the login prompt. So pay attention to the IP here at the right side of the window. So in my case it's 192.168.178.52, double colon 1990. So I'm going to pull up here my browser and enter here this address. So 192.168.178.52, double colon 1990. And as you can see, I have a warning here because I don't have an SSL installed on the connection yet. So I'm going to click on advanced and accept the risk and continue. And now I can see the Fedora server web interface. So I'm going to log in as Hermano here and enter my password. And now we are in Fedora server. So the first thing I want to do now is go to the terminal here and check for updates. So I'm just going to type in sudo dnf update and give my password. And I don't have any right now. I have already the latest packages installed. So this is how to install Fedora Server 31 on VirtualBox. So just a small tour on the interface here. We have two tabs here, host and dashboard. On the host here, we have a few information about the system. You have also the option here to restart the machine or to shut it down. Under logs, we see the logs available in the system right now. Under storage, we can see how much space we use. We have the root partition and the boot partition here. And we have over here other options where we could also add volume groups and so on. Under networking, we have a small overview about our network here and the interfaces, our IP address and the speeds. Under accounts, we have the accounts we created in the machine and we can create new ones. And we have then a list of all services running on the machine right now. Under application right now, I have nothing. I don't have any special applications installed right now. We have a panel for the SE Linux policy, software updates, and the terminal we just looked before. Under the dashboard, we have an overview of our machine. We have now the CPU usage here, how much memory we are using right now, the network, and the disk I.O. So this is it for the Fedora server installation. In the next video, we are going to download Nextcloud. We are going to install it and configure it. And then on the third video, we're going to finish the installation by installing SSL. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tip. And if you want to see more, make sure you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover here, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.